Hello everybody, my name is Chef Seb and you are watching RV Foodie Nomad's YouTube channel where our hope is to be able to take you on a culinary and cultural journey through America. Today, I wanna to show you how to make my summer smoky ceviche. So stay tuned as I will show you step-by-step step how to make this wonderful summer dish. The first step of this process is to start a fire. I am doing this in my fire pit on the campsite. So um, as you can see, there's, this is a real fire pit right on, on our campsite. This is the real way of doing it, but you also need to be very safe. So when you are starting this fire, folks, please make sure somebody's attending it at all times, okay? Um, that's what we do as well. Um, this fire is never unattended, okay? So, in order to have a good fire to obtain the smoky flavor that's needed for the ceviche, you do need the proper firewood. The proper firewood is one that's very dry. You can see um, how light these um, firewoods are, and that's because they are completely dry. And when you are stacking them, you do need, you do need to stack them properly where there is a good flow of air going in between the sticks. You can see there's a nice gap between the sticks that are stacked up right here, all right? And this will help with the flame, um, you know, kind of give you the, 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 the amount of heat that's needed to obtain that smoky flavor. All right, guys, so this is the first step. Make sure you are, prop you are properly stacking the uh, sticks and start the fire, and then we go to the next step. The next step, folks, will be to gather all of our ingredients. And they are vine-ripe cherry tomatoes, fresh oregano, endive lettuce, avocados, orange lemons, diced up Anaheim and jalapeno peppers, along with chopped up onions and cilantro. Also, we have sea salt and black pepper. Lastly, we have our fish, which are sockeye salmon and the Icelandic cod. We're gonna start off with the jalapeno pepper. And uh, the type of pepper you need to pick is, uh, it's really important. You gotta make sure you pick a very nice size, the jalapeno peppers, because the bigger they are, the better flavor they provide. And, uh, and you know, you wanna make sure that your ceviche has that, you know, mild spiciness to it. And you can do that only by obtaining good peppers, okay? So, you're gonna start off with cutting off the stem first. And you gotta try to, cut it as close to, as close as possible you can to the stem because you know we want to avoid wasting um, the pepper okay and then you slice it in half this is the first process of seeding the jalapeno peppers okay and inside there is a white membrane and underneath the membrane you'll see the seeds okay and we want to make sure we take all of that out okay and you do that by uh, putting a uh, little slice on each side of the membrane and this will help you lift up the white part of the pepper and then when you lift that up all the peppers will come all, all the pepper seeds will come out with it as you can see right here in it okay and then you can just you can shake the uh pepper to take the rest of the seeds out or you can just kind of with your finger take them all out we're going to do the same thing on this side just another cut lift up the membrane and there you go all right same thing just kind of shake comes out there we go now i usually keep the seeds i collect the seeds and i 
you know, grow them in my garden um, by my restaurant. We have a small little herb garden that uh, we use to grow our own herbs and and uh, fruits and some vegetables. But um, yeah, so so once you have um, all the seeds out, um, you're gonna go ahead and chop them finely, okay? And you want to you you don't want to chop them too too small because you know um, you wanna you wanna make sure people know that you are using real jalapenos in your ceviche okay but you're gonna start cutting them and you slice it vertically like that okay and once you have sliced them vertically you can go ahead and start chopping them There you go. And we're gonna do the same thing with this side. So, here are your chopped jalapeno peppers, okay? So, that's what you do uh, as far as the peppers goes, the next thing we got to do is the onion and then we have to chop up the cilantro. Okay, again, guys, just make sure you chop them, uh, you know, properly. Make sure they're not too small and they're not too big. They're just medium sized uh, pieces. Okay. All right. So this is the marinade and the marinade, again, it's made from cilantro, onions, salt, pepper, fresh squeezed juice from the orange and lemon. And also... If, you know, some people, if they want to add a little bit of garlic, you can. I personally don't do that, but that's all you need for the, for the, uh, for the marinade. Okay, guys? So don't, you know, don't try to make it too complicated because we want to try to keep it simple. As simple as you keep it, oftentimes I've noticed that food will taste better versus you try to become too creative and it ends up not being what you thought it was going to be. But anyways, so the ingredients that are that are made to make the marinade, you are seeing right in front of you. We have the cilantro, diced up Anaheim peppers and jalapeno peppers. We have the white onions, sea salt, black pepper, and fresh squeeze juice from these fruits right over here. So once you make the marinade, you're gonna mix them together and you're gonna mix them thoroughly because you wanna make sure the flavor is thoroughly distributed throughout the marinade. All right, folks? And then what we're gonna do, the next step is to smoke the marinade. Okay. What that means is that we're going to transfer the marinade into this iron skillet and this iron skillet is gonna go right on top of that fire. This method creates a very nice smoky flavor for the ceviche. So let's go ahead and do that right now, okay guys? So transfer the entire marinade into the iron skillet, grab the iron skillet and go ahead, head over to your fire and place it right on top of the fire. All right, the idea is you wanna keep this marinade on top of the fire for about five to 10 minutes, okay? And this, will create the smoky flavor we need for the marinade okay guys so let it just sit there let it obtain the smoky flavor that we all love we just removed the marinade from the fire it's ready to go but we have to let it cool down a little bit because it's a little hot all right guys but once it's cooled down you're gonna pour it over the fish over the uh, cod and the sockeye salmon, all right? And once you do that, you're gonna cover that up and you're gonna stick in the refrigerator for about four hours, all right? And this is where the citric acid from the marinade is gonna cook the raw fish for you. Let's go ahead and do that right now because this has already cooled down. Yep, yep, it's cooled down. It's not that hot anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it right over the fish. All right? So we just poured it right over the fish and we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the, cover it up, stick it in the refrigerator for four hours. And once we go through that process, this is gonna be ready to enjoy. So 
So the fish has been marinated in the sauce for the last four hours. It's time to do the final step of this process and enjoy our ceviche, okay? So, um, so after the fish being marinated for about four hours inside the sauce we made with the ingredients uh, uh, from earlier, we're gonna go ahead and, and mix it in the rest of the uh, uh, ingredients to finalize the recipe. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the uh, the fish and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the endives uh, lettuce. We're gonna top it off with the uh, with the avocados. Okay. You're going to need to strain the extra marinade. That way the ceviche is not too brothy. So what I normally do when I take the excessive uh, sauce out of the uh, out of a recipe, I use it for another recipe like a uh, seafood broth or something. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the excessive uh, marinade out of this so we can add the tomatoes and the cucumber and the avocados to it. And after that, we're gonna put the, the mixed uh, ingredients into the endives lettuce. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please let me know if you have any questions regarding the Smoky Summer Ceviche. The step-by-step -step recipe and the measurements are gonna be uh, posted on the uh, in the comments below. So if you have any questions, guys, you can always send me an email or send me a private message on Facebook. Until next time, happy camping and enjoy the rest of your summer, folks. Thank you.